But the big story on Action News tonight is the tragic developments late today in a hit and run crash last night that's now turned deadly. Philadelphia police say a woman struck by an out of control driver just north of City Hall died from her injuries this afternoon. The woman was walking with her three young children, one of whom an eight year old girl was critically injured. We also learned today that a person of interest is now in custody tonight. Action News is Walter Perez live at the scene where this all happened last night. And Walter, you've got the latest from there. That's right, Brian. You know, police were actually trailing that vehicle before the hit and run, saying it was traveling on the wrong side of the road at a high rate of speed with the lights off at 10 o'clock last night. But once again, the tragic news, as you mentioned, that one of the victims has died. It was right around 10 o'clock last night when patrol officers started following a vehicle that was driving around erratically not far from City Hall. In fact, those officers were close enough to have actually witnessed the hit and run as the vehicle approached the intersection of Broad and Arch Streets. The officers from the 6th District clearly saw this vehicle strike someone because they saw a body launched into the air about 20 feet. In the end, a 38-year-old woman suffered severe head trauma and later died at Jefferson Hospital. An 8-year-old girl was also critically injured and remains hospitalized at CHOP. Two other girls, ages 10 and 11, who were with the victim at the time, were not injured. We've also learned that a person of interest linked to this case and the vehicle involved, described as a dark gray Jeep, are in police custody tonight. Investigators also say, along with eyewitness accounts, the crime scene displayed telltale signs of a hit and run driver traveling at a very high rate of speed. There's at least six pieces of footwear, some slides and some sneakers that are on the scene. They were hit with such force and such speed, they were launched out of their footwear. So that, that proves that speed is a factor. So once again, police do tell us they believe that the woman who died was the mother of the three girls who were with her last night. The eight year old remains hospitalized at CHOP. The two other are now in the care of protective services. Reporting live from Center City, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Yeah, hoping for the very best for that eight year old still hospitalized. Walter, thank you.